I would be lost if I didn't have my scientific background. The being um, methodical, writing everything down and experimenting. I, I see baking as a big experiment, so whether it's water temperature, whether it's the ambient air temperature, the new flour. When I'm in the bakery, I need to have my thinking cap on. You have to have scales. The history of me as a baker is intertwined with um, my science career. It's how I got through my PhD. It was my um, procrastination tool was to bake. Uh, it started off in grassland, so that's where my research career, so that was looking at the conservation of native grasslands using agricultural practices. And I've always thought that bread baking was something that you had to be trained to do. So you had to be a baker. You had to go off and, you know, train. Right down. This is a, the schedule. But then somebody the bought me a bread machine and I started. I would uh, start to experiment with just using it to mix bread. And then I'd put it in the oven and constantly in search of the perfect baguette and that crust. So my dream loaves for five years time would definitely be a loaf with some Australian native grasses. For me as a grassland scientist to bring into now my new career as a you know sourdough baker to have a native grass bread whether it's just sprouted kangaroo grass seeds in it um, yeah I'll just be tick I don't know what else I'll <laughs> have to do. Yeah.